Welcome back to JSA TV and JSA Podcast, live here from Capacity Europe in London. We are here uh, covering the latest stories, trends, and innovations uh, from leaders in the global connectivity and digital infrastructure industries. I'm very excited to introduce you all to Arthur Mendez. He's VP of Sales for Angola Cables. Welcome to JSA TV, Arthur. Thank you for, uh, for inviting us. Yeah, absolutely. We're so we're so happy to get the chance to chat with you all today. So first of all, we heard um, that Angola Cables is actually the most interconnected operator in Africa, and you all are actually based in Africa. Um, so yeah. could you could you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, it all started with Angola, uh, from Angola and uh, with the investment of WOX, that is a cable that connects 11 African countries and three European countries. And, and with that, uh, and with all the strategy that we made it uh, along the side, we have been ranking number 33 of uh, Qaeda, that yeah. is uh, one of the most important rankings, and we are the only African player that is in that ranking, the top 100. Mm. Um, and, and that specifically says, because we, we did interconnect today the five continents uh, of the world, even if we started from a, a small uh, African mm -hmm. point. So, uh, uh, because we, we built it the, the first ever made uh, cable in the South hemisphere by connecting Angola to Brazil, and then Brazil to United States, and then together with using other cables that, that, that we had capacity, we are interconnecting the five continents today. Yeah. Excellent. Thank you for that. Uh, quick overview. Um, and so you, you reached an important milestone recently. You reached the highest peak of more than 12 terabits of data traffic, mm -hmm. right? Uh, yeah, it mm -hmm. was it was an inter interesting numbers uh, mm -hmm. to us um, worldwide. Uh, of course, then I would say that majority of that that traffic uh, is on our most used route that is between Brazil and the United States uh, with the Monet cable. Uh, but of course, this is uh, all of the circuits and also the IP transit that has, has a huge grow um, mm -hmm. in the last times uh, in the company. Yeah. Which yeah, is, uh, great. And also because we develop and push for a specific region in Brazil that it was Fortaleza, that was nothing when we started. And today is, is the second biggest city in terms of traffic in Brazil uh, after Sao Paulo and, and, and with a very healthy grow and a, a great ecosystem that have been created there, which make us happy, of course. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's incredible. Um, okay. So, you know, we're talking demand. Obviously, there's a ton of demand. And in August, uh, West Africa actually had a, a, a quite a major outage. Um, and that created a disruption from Africa to Europe. Uh, so, you know, a, a big um, kind of headline in the industry at the time. Um, so can you talk a little bit about how Angola Cables helped to sort that out? Yeah, it's, it's a major problem because um, in, in the RC, that is a country after Angola, there's the Congo Canyon River that is mm -hmm. very strong. So it's the second um, uh, cut uh, in, the, in, the, in the next, in the three years, in the past three years. Uh, and when it cut it, it cut all the cables that are passing in the region. So in this case was uh, Wax, uh, Ace and Sa3, which put it uh, in blind, the dual West African um, um, on the south of, of the RC. Mm -hmm. So Angola Cables, because we have SACs, we have been able to, to, to devise the, the traffic uh, using SACs, connecting to Brazil and then with Monet to United States and been able to pick it, all of that traffic. We also use it, Equiano, that is a brand new cable that was not affected, that we have been able to diversify the, ta the, the traffic down to South Africa and then entering in Ikeano and, and push it to, to Europe. Um, so it, it was pretty interesting and, and we see positive cases. There's an entity that is Kintik that um, studied the traffic patterns. And, and the good thing is was that um, uh, a few of the um, SADC regions countries have been fully dependent on Angola cables, was the case of Namibia or DRC or even Congo, that they maintain all of their traffic through Angola Cables Network. Which, mm. was, which was which was great to be able to help them uh, with uh, specifically with sax. Yeah, excellent. Yeah. So so glad you all were there to help in that yeah. definite uh, time of need. Um, excellent. So it's been great to to chat with you, Arthur. Thank you for joining us on JSA TV today. Okay, what a pleasure. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you. And uh, thank you to all of our viewers who are hanging out with us today here live from Capacity Europe on JSA TV today. As always, happy networking. Thank you.